Hey guys, Ron Anik at Black Axe Ranch here in Sturgeon Lake, Minnesota. Welcome back to our channel, but uh, not exactly the welcome that uh, uh, we were hoping for this uh, episode. As you can see in the background here, we got more snow last night. If you can see that on there, we are we are seriously sick of this stuff. Um, really, seriously, we are sick of it. We don't want any more. Uh, this winter, just, there's no end. It won't quit. It's like that guest at a party that, that won't leave, even though you handed them their hat, you know? It's like, take a hint. It's, we are well into spring, but you'd never know it around here. Anyway, well, it's Minnesota. Uh, like I've said before, you know, um, you don't like the weather in Minnesota? Wait five minutes, guaranteed to change. And it's not like I haven't seen plenty of Aprils like this before. Um, so we just deal with it. We deal with it. We take it in stride. Um, although last week was better. We had like 70 degree weather. I was walking around in shirt sleeves. Now I'm back to the winter coat, winter hat, and the winter boots here. So, but uh, not going to complain. Take it in stride and we'll deal with it. But uh, anyway, uh, like I said, welcome back to our channel. Um, we have a new little toy that we're going to share with you guys today. For those of you that have us on Facebook, I probably have seen it already, but uh, um, we're going to share that and have a little bit of fun today. So welcome back and stay tuned.
I would say those are some pretty successful test flights. We got that thing way up there. That was a lot higher than I thought it would go. Anyway, uh, it was kind of windy out today, so probably not the best conditions for test flights and, and playing with a new toy, but uh, we made it work anyway. Uh, uh, it was blowing pretty good, but surprisingly, that thing was able to uh, s stay in one spot. It's got those automatic sensors that it uses to... Uh, to, to maintain, uh, you know, yaw and pitch and, and all of that stuff. Don't be impressed because I used to watch Airwolf when I was a kid. So, um, but you know, all of that to the gimbals and all that stuff um, really, really stayed lined up uh, even with these pretty big uh, wind gusts. So pretty impressive, pretty impressed overall. We're going to see if we can get that thing to hover now over the bison while we give them a little bit of food and water and we'll see how that goes.
Yeah, truth be told, if I hadn't bought that drone and tried it out this weekend, we would have, it would probably be about 70 degrees out right now and uh, not a speck of wind, no snow blowing in my face like this. Wouldn't be any dripping, melting, everything would be nice, dry. It would be perfect, ideal temperatures and weather. But because I bought the drone and am trying to do it on my weekend off here, it is about 30 degrees, windy, cold, blustery, snowy, um, and any other adjectives that you can use to describe that we're not going to mention in the video because of uh, uh, certain laws that don't allow me to say things like that in front of kids and stuff but uh, anyway um, we made it work we made it work but sorry Minnesota you can blame me for that that's my fault Well, I would say that went pretty good uh, overall. Got the bison fed. They were, uh, I think they're a little bit spooked by the sound of the uh, of the drone. It might take them a little bit of time to get used to that thing. Um, you may have noticed that uh, normally they come running when we feed and water them, but they weren't going anywhere near it. Probably because I had that, uh, that thing hovering right above where they needed to walk. So I don't know if you could kind of tell from the video, but uh, I, I tried to herd them a little bit with the drone. But, uh, and I guess it kind of worked. But uh, anyway, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll be out again and we'll, we'll get more film and they'll, they'll, they'll get used to it eventually. But uh, overall, pretty cool. I would say we're gonna definitely be able to spice up our videos in the future with some uh, aerial shots and uh, hopefully no crashes. Um, we're gonna try to avoid that. Uh, but if we do, we'll get it on film. So we'll show you guys. Anyway, thanks for watching. You guys have a good day and uh, we'll see you in our next video. Well, and of course, look at that. Uh, as soon as I am all done getting all my clips now the sun starts to come out and we start to see blue sky. So doesn't that figure? Are you a good puppy? Yeah, you got a great life, don't you? <laughs> you have a great life, don't you? Yeah, yeah you do. Yeah. yeah, you do. You're a pretty dog. You're a pretty girl, aren't you? Yeah. So good. Anyway, say goodbye, Piper. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Good dog. <laughs> Wagging that.
tail.